my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is Fisayo I am a fashion beauty and lifestyle blogger so if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and um, this is gonna be a hair video today so I'll be showing you ways to or how to style jumbo braids I did this in um, about I, I did this a couple of days ago it's in my vlog I will link it at the end of this video if you haven't seen it if and also I will link it in the description box below as well so that you can go check it out to see how I did it I did 10 jumbo braids and I am actually loving it um probably this would be my go-to it's mostly my go-to when my hair is been out for two weeks then I just put it in a jumbo braid and or I do some sort of braids so I'm, I'm a braid girl okay <laughs> anyway so without no further ado let's jump into this video and I'll be showing you ways that I will be styling this and hopefully you enjoy this video so the first way I will be styling this is putting it in a side pattern so I'm a side pattern kind of girl but mostly this kind of side so that's one way or you could um, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like at the back so you can see how I'm styling it so it just comes all the way here and that's what it looks like at the back three so that's pretty much my go-to in this hairstyle so the next way I purposely did another side part is not my favorite side anyway but this is another way if you're going to be doing a jumbo um, braids just um, make sure you have this pattern down and then at least you know that you have that option to style it um, this way so it's just pretty much this way and I'm just gonna come closer so you can actually see So I actually don't mind this style, so um, not my go-to, but if this is your favorite side, then yeah, but this is not my favorite side. This is my favorite side, so, which is quite easy, and yeah, and the other way that I'm going to be styling this is pretty much putting it um, whole back and um, having something to hold hold it down so I'll probably be using a rubber band so it's just to put it all the way back I just get the first four in front and then I put it all back so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like at the back so this is what it looks like in front which is cute so I'll show you what it looks like at the back much what it looks like at the back so yeah and you can easily just you know wave it on the side if you've got a lovely scarf you could use a scarf to hold it so that's something you could do so giving you kind of like a half up half down kind of situation and if you're um another girl that just wants a bun you could easily just turn that into a bun which is another way you can style it so that's quite a cute way to style um i actually don't mind it i probably will be leaving some on the side just because i like how it looks like on the side but that's just me your favorite might be different but yeah so half hair up bun and bringing it to the side or you could leave it at the back or you could with it to the side as well so however you want it you can actually have it and the other thing you can do is you can have a two bun so that's another thing you can do um i actually don't mind having two bonds as well so i'm just going to show you hopefully it looks right at the back because i can't see so so that's the bun so that's what it looks like on the side so 
so you can pretty much have those as well another way you can style this which i absolutely love this is my go-to for bedtime so it's pretty much having them all in one bun and i like my bun to be quite forward so so yeah so that's how i have it pretty much when i'm going to bed So that is a bun look and what you can do if you don't want your rubber band to show is just to tie it around so which would not let the rubber band which would not let the rubber band show so that's what it looks like And the other thing you could do if you want more, um, if you just want to get into the bone situation and all you just could do is just keep wrapping it around. Just keep wrapping it around. I'll do mine in sections because hopefully that will make it cleaner in section than doing that in what so. so that is what it looks like and um, the other thing you could do if you know me well you know that I have to leave one in front So in this situation, I would just have um, two on one side. Um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with this one because they're not um, tiny braids. So this is another look, which is having just two in front, or you could um, you could have it this way, which is not my favorite. But with this one, you could easily just twist it and have it that way. But yeah. I think we'll go for this one so it will pretty much be this way having a two coming down on this corner because that's how i lined my hair and yeah so that's what it looks like and the other way you could just have it is you could not have the bun um, and just pack it at the back like so and have your two in front leave it as it is so which is this way and i'm just going to show you what it looks like so which is this way that is what that looks like and the other way you could actually do this is
Another way you could have it is you could have a Bantu. Another way you could have it is you could have two Bantu in front and then pack it at the back or you could leave it at the back. It's pretty much up to you. Or you could have a bun at the back as well with your two Bantu. So. So which is that way. You have a two band two or if you want to go all the way in you could have everything as a band two so this would take a bit of time have your bantu a bit tighter or a bit loose so this is my bantu and it's looking very cute um actually had this a few days ago so that's what the bantu is looking like So the other way you could do it is just have the one in front and do a side pattern with your bantu and have a twist of this one so it looks like it's one. So then you could turn it into, turn it into another hairstyle. This is what it looks like. Um, I've just so you can easily have that and kind of like have the rows. And yeah, so that's pretty much the air style for how to style your jumbo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share with your friends who has jumbo braids, or if you're look, thinking of doing jumbo braids, then hopefully this is me letting you know that there are so many things you could do with your jumbo braids and that's just for this normal jumbo braid imagine if you now want to style it with a scarf that is another whole different ways entirely so there's so much versi versatility to with the jumbo braids and yeah so that's pretty much it if you've watched to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button now join the community and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't given this video a thumbs up give it this video a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below let me know which one you like which one is your fave and if you'll be you know exploring doing jumbo braids um sometime this year thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye